Hello ladies and gents, Jurassic World Dominion showed some footage at CinemaCon. We've had a few of these now, so we had the Batman footage description, which came out of CinemaCon. We also had Ghostbusters Afterlife. I mean, the entire movie was screened. So that came out uh, of CinemaCon. We had a few of them. This one was a little bit unexpected, to me anyway. I didn't expect that they were going to be showing this, um, but it does kind of make sense. And we've got the descriptions here for you as well, so I thought we'd run through them. Uh, this is a film that I'm modestly looking forward to. You know, like, I, I I want to like Jurassic... Well, I want to like Jurassic World. I really like Jurassic Park. Um, and as such, you know, I've got fond memories of it. I I think Jurassic World sort of did an okay job of trying to recapture that magic for a new audience, a younger audience. I don't think they completely landed it. But because I've got a lot of nostalgia, I, you know, I, I let a lot slide with this franchise. And I am looking forward to this film. So here we go. Jurassic World... Oh, this is the new sort of synopsis, anyway, that they gave out. Um... And sort of a description of what they've stated it as and things like this. And what they said in the um, presentation. So they say Jurassic World Dominion is a celebration of the franchise. I like that. It concludes a story that Steven Spielberg started in 1993. And that's from Colin Trevorrow. Is that them saying this is the last one? I don't believe it. Colin. Colin. I don't believe that this is going to be the last one, dude. If it is, wow. So just go out there and announce that this is the last one. Wow. Really wow. It is everything we could have ever hoped for and more, Dern says. Uh, now the footage shows the original cast. So this, uh, Laura Dern, sorry. Uh, referred to as legacy characters. So the original cast, this is the sort of description of the original cast. And so it says that they are the legacy characters interacting with the world characters in many instances. Don't hate that. The movie will ask questions, uh, or ask the question, sorry, if dinosaurs lived amongst us, would you be safe? Trevorrow explains. The answer is no. Yeah, obviously. But, 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 but why is that even a question that needs answering? What are you doing? Does it need to be answered? We all know you would not... Like, giant T-Rex marching down the M4. It's a British motorway. Yeah, no, you're all dead. Like, come on. Like, we all know that that's... What are you doing? What kind of a question is that? Uh, so, a, a mosasaur... So, this is part of the footage as well. A mosasaur emerges from the ocean to eat an entire helicopter. Love that. Love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, a raptor runs across a building top. Quite like that. Please don't give us parkour raptors. That pissed me off. Uh, a T-Rex is in a city. Stunts, falling, vehicles flipping. Sam Neill and the entire cast face to face with a T-Rex in the woods. Is it going to be Rexy though? And is Rexy going to recognise him? Because if so... If so, I'm there. That'd be good. I'm not going to lie, that'd be great. Anyway, uh, there's a lot of footage of Neil, Goldblum, Dern, Pratt, Howard, uh, and more. All with practical opportunities to have a uh, created T-Rex on the set and in camera. It was colourful, thrilling showing of the film. So, some of it was like pre-VFX. Pre some of it was obviously post-VFX. That sounds great. Dumb question though. Would we be safe if dinosaurs lived? Yeah, obviously not. Why is that even a question? Behave. Doesn't even need to be a question. Uh, but still interesting. Good that they're throwing out the normal characters in there as well. The original characters. And then we get this as a description as well. So the first image was of a pair of Brachiosaurus being led by a bunch of vehicles in what looked like a snow-covered quarry. Cool. Like that. Later, still in that snowy setting, Owen Grady, Chris Pratt is riding a motorcycle trying to chase down some dinosaurs. There are scenes of Ellie Sattler, Laura Dern, uh, trapped in a cage reminiscent of the one from the beginning of the first film. Interesting. Nice to have those sort of nostalgic throwbacks. Uh, water's pouring in, and there was also a shot of her in a very sunny, well-lit lab. So it'd be interesting to see what she's doing nowadays with her life um, in-universe. The Mosasaurus from Jurassic World jumps out of the water to eat something. A helicopter. A, a Dilophosaurus screams and unleashes his mane. 
cool that they're bringing that back. Uh, I believe that's the same dinosaur that was in the original anyway. Uh, the T-Rex is seen rampaging, of course, and we see someone holding a flare. So that's a cool back as well. I like that. A Triceratops smashing against the Jeep. Shots of Alan Grant and Ian Malcolm. And then shots of all the stars from both series looking up at something and reminiscent of the lighting from the T-Rex attack in the first film. So lots of callbacks. It sounds good. These are some multiple descriptions there uh, being thrown out. Anyway, I don't know. Most interestingly, though, were some scenes in what looked like a European city. I wasn't aware they were doing anything uh, in Europe. I don't recall any of that. I might be wrong, but I don't recall anything being shot in Europe. Again, I'm, I am probably wrong here. Uh, we see Claire Deering, which is Bryce Dallas Howard's uh, character, jumping between buildings. Bryce Dallas Howard, she learns some parkour. Uh, while she's being chased by what looked like a velociraptor. So that gives her more context there. A scene of Claire and Owen Grady uh, jumping down into some ancient tomb. Interesting. An ancient tomb? Why would they be doing that? It's uh, Chris Pratt and his Indiana Jones debut. Uh, and then a shot of Grady, again on a motorcycle, zipping through some cobblestone streets, chasing what, again, was probably a raptor. Basically, it looked like action, sh action scenes from Indiana Jones, so that's funny. Uh, Jason Bourne and James Bond, but with dinosaurs. I like that comparison there at the end. Basically, it looked like action scenes from James Bond, Jason Bourne, uh, Indiana Jones, but there's dinosaurs running around. That's my inner child. Very pleased. Very, very pleased. But what do you guys think of this? Because the second one, Jurassic World... Um, God. I, can't, I literally can't even remember what it was called now. But that second Jurassic World was garbage. It was terrible. So they really do need this one to land. Um, and like, like I said, it is interesting that they, they're seemingly confirming that this is going to be the last one. I don't get it. Why? Weird. I mean, obviously, inevitably, it's not going to be the last one. Uh, but if it's concluding that story, I guess maybe that's them indicating that, yeah, moving forwards, we will be telling a different story now. We will be going away from the park. We'll be going to mutations and weaponizations and things like that. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Um, but let me know what you guys think down below. I'd love to hear it, genuinely. This stuff uh, is quite divisive these days. A lot of people like it. A lot of people hate it. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you are new here, you stayed this long. It's the end of the video. You must have enjoyed it. So hit that subscribe button on your way out. And turn the bell notifications on to all. If you want to support the channel further, I've got Instagram as well as my Twitter, at Mr. H Reviews. Check it out. As well as Patreon and memberships. Uh, you can find them down below in the description box. Thanks so much, the guys. Take care.